Now, those you have been keeping up, I'm trying to press Milo instead of Damien. Okay. I'll sing here, so. What's going on here? You're searching campfire for drop spores you can eat. When you run the child, while both car around the child is full. So, as I was saying, I had to conquer the kingdom in the fourth circle of hell. They told me by being a kingdom that exists that I don't rule. When the life gives you lemons. That makes perfect sense. It's like I always say, keep your friends close and hold your enemies like a baby bird that you can crush in your hand with one cares move. So, after I slaughtered the royal family and cleaned the floor, I decimated half the population. It's a fun way to encourage obedience to my wrath. But here's the weird part. I tweet about the whole thing on Hell Twitter, and I'm getting replies calling me a violent tyrant who is totally evil and not being cool. Well, isn't that what you would imagine? Apparently, there's some kind of hashtag thing, but I'm seeing Blue Squad of Death. Hashtag Blue Squad of Death. Hashtag Dias channel. Hashtag Fourth Circle Burning. Oh dear, well, you come to the right place. They don't call me the feed doctor for nothing, huh? What exactly did you tweet? Half circle losers! I killed half of your people! Haha! <laughs> welcome to my Welcome to rule my iron fist population on you! Hashtag violent! Hashtag violence! Hashtag haha! <laughs> Dyer! This is a total emergency! You hashtag like a poor! Oh, and the rest of it is free to have optics too! Fascinating! I never considered the optics of conquering a kingdom, but now that you've entered, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Find the murder anyone who tweet anything even slightly critical of me. I shall drink the blood of... Well, I can only assume from the profile pictures is a legion of anime girls. Listen, Dyer, I really do understand how you feel, because I am a true empath and understand literally every possible emotion. But I'm afraid this is a little more complicated than just murdering a few unhonored counts. We've got to flip the narrative here and get public opinion on Hashtag your side. Winning. That way you can conquer a million kingdoms, and everyone will just cheer you on and admire how you're increasing the number of women in high rank government positions. <laughs> Milo, I like the sound of that. Tyler, who of our of our million kingdoms? <laughs> Maybe I'll even take a harem. Here's my official recommendation. Partner with some four circle influences. I'm talking snap stories, posts, giveaways, fake relationships, fake breakups, everything. Ah, I see. I'll partner with the most influential people in the four circle. But when I inevitably murder them, it's really crushes the world people. Oh gosh, Dial does, does not seem to absorb Mars so familiar with this. Yeah, these jelly chewies in the right direction now. Uh, you know, death may pop in to change from my Some people have changed by writing nice poem about how it's built. This way, the counts have won't be for nothing with them. The interface might nice come. Yeah, I think I like that. Winning. A poem? I'm impressed, love. I didn't expect you to suggest something so mostly magnificent. Dyer, as your brand manager, I insist you follow Lil's advice and post a poem about how you feel for doing all those murders. Uh, come on, my uh -huh. Do I have to? Yes, I'm expecting the poem to be at least 16 verses, and let's keep to a very pentameter. It's the most apologetic meter. Embarrassed pentameter? What a fearsome poem! I must admit, I am impressed by an pentameter so many times. Someday I shall feature a fire strange feet. But, well, before I get started, can be less verses, please? I have so many emotions to press, and six percent of them are rage and lust for violence. Well, I suppose it can be sure. Quite a character, yeah, true. Anyway, I'm pretty a little count for this kind of thing. Uh. I'm Milo, do I have to make a time? It's so hard to find. Nothing rhyme could clutch it. Hmm. Um. 
I can't think of anything. First, one bit if I'm bludgeoned, and second, fine, I can do three first if you absolutely insist. But artistically, you're making a huge mistake. Now spend the next 10 minutes on a poem. In that time, she managed to smash about 46 different pencils in her fist due to pure frustration. Okay, I'm finally done. It's a haiku. Uh, kind of. That's the best apology ever. Here it goes. Oh, haikus. Yeah, that was a great yeah. punch, right? This is just to say, I'm sorry I killed all those people so quickly. They are probably crying and screaming because they weren't to admire strength or before dying. Look at me. There was some red wool. The heads were juicy and stumble. At least fuck this. You're welcome. Love, Dara. And posted. Now that's flipping the narrative. On point. Dara, that was so beautiful. An emotional masterpiece. And oh. totally authentic. No matter how terribly this received by the general public, just take comfort in the fact that I'm proud of you. You did such a good job expressing yourself. Meanwhile, quickly pull up healthcare. Everyone is outraged and dies being investigated by an international factory of violating the need to What the hell? What the hell? Now these people are celebrating my right to victory. Ugh, so soon he is done. I'm going to come some shit to get this bad taste out of my heart. Well, Liv, I think we should celebrate a job well done. Um, I wouldn't really call it a job well done. People don't like it. Nothing sad beside me like emotional attention and all poetry. Maybe we could drive you together? We could try and bloodshed with Bunkman, if you know what I mean. Ooh. Bring out your class. Oh, drink times. My skills. Can't you bear, Jackman? Decide to visit you. Wow. That we could. Just in time. I prepared a bunch of drinks. I have no idea what they do. They could make you a model, turn your blood into a mayonnaise. You know, listen to me. Drink at your own risk. But you made your... Well, if you made up your mind, get ready. Right. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Um, help. And this. Oh, no, wait. That, that changed everything to guys. It was not really too much. A lot of beer boots. Hmm. Pair of beer boots. Do you think you can handle a pair of beer boots? Thanks, these babies. Random location. A random location we chose. And you can drunk walk all over it until you become a true expert. After that, anyone could have earn twice many stats from visiting it. Part my leap for two gold me. Ciao! Okay, so if I answer that correctly, if I. Oh. Oh, I see. So, random location should be good. Hmm. Well, might as well take advantage of it and do a scout thing too. That day, one scout, so learn to identify different animal tracks. First, you practice identifying bears and deer, but then you start to identify way more specific tracks. You identify the tracks of sculptor. Half human, half. Yeah. Hey, plus four creativity. Whoa, ten creativity. Look at that. Anyway, sit by and think up a while. They're reaping a baby claw today, and I told you it would be super cute. There you are, love. Claws are cute. Come on, this adorable little soul won't harvest Hello, itself. I'm a fan of Milo. Uh, huh? Oh my dear, it's God, Milo! It's me, your biggest and most useful fan. I have all your social media albums. Sure you do, hi. Anyway, the squad. Aha, I told you, it was really me, not so fudge. This guy's a doctor this whole time. No, it's me, familiar. I know who you are, darling. I just thought you'd find the scene light and join the Milo hmm. Rumps. That's because I told you, with Kalfaj. I'm here to teach you how to do the same. No thank you, my sweet, oblivious, little person. How come on do I be to hide this time snow against from the world? I mean, this is not so careful. Ah, you're talking about physical Kalfaj. But why? Thank you. 
Why, what do you think about Zard Box? I <laughs> hindsight while doing camp flush. I'm talking about schedule camp flush. Of everyone at the camp, you're the one who needs most, and I'm the one to teach you. What? Camp flush myself? Online? Why do I ever want to do that? I have millions of devoted fans. Yeah, what are you talking about? All the more people who pull your incredible online camp flush. I'm so sorry, but Papal Belladonna was not born to be invisible. I mean, technically I wasn't born at all, but you get the idea. What about Incognito? Clearing your search history so nobody knows you've been going to www.fridgeswithdicks.com I'm not leaving you alone until you admit that there are at least some situations where discovering yourself online is a good idea. Oh boy, looks like you're gonna have to step in here if you want to kill that qua. Sunday, what's the kind of skies my well, right down for? Hmm. Have no distemper special of your Hmm Hmm na, 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 na. Uh, I just don't know, I think this one will use Fun, but that's not particularly high stuff for you. But. Um, oh, so creative! Yes! That is my best step! Face. Two. I love face tunes. Finally, a way to upload my favorite MP3 files to my face. Um, I got a good guess, Fudge. Well, that's not what face tune is at all. It's an app that helps you become your best self by the airbrushing away of all the bird parts. You got that. Yeah. You're perfect already, <clears throat> anyway. Oh, that's what it is? Sure. I've been chewing my face for years. Here, take a look at my dating profile. This isn't face tube. You upload a scan of Arnold Schwarzenegger 1980's Nike yet. Well, that's me, even on a MS page. Enough to chat. Time to really to what face tube is really about. You bust out your phone and get to work on a picture of yourself. After two solid minutes of fine tuning, you present your masterpiece. Well, wow, I'm speechless, except these words I just said, the ones I'm about to say. Oof, your tuned face is breathtaking. If I had breath, I'll take it. Well, how about my untuned face? What's the point? After all, they still look like look the same in real life. It should represent who you really are. You all want to talk? What about those odd swap mm. pics? Master of Skies! Posting misleading pictures of myself online is part of who I really am! Right, but back to this unbelievably hot selfie. <sighs> Listen, I don't care about your appearance. All I care about is how you're from the inside and the outside in pictures. I mean, how tragic would it be to date someone if I was too embarrassed to check myself in an airball picture together? I'll never have that problem with you. <laughs> That's what I love about face you. It lets us really focus on what's on the inside by moving all the distracting ugliness from the outside. Oh, that, that's kind of a good point. You can agree more, and you're excited to find out your face tune works on other body parts well. <laughs> In plus fan, plus one creativity. Alright, well, the one place I haven't been to yet is the, the Haunted Fair. And both my low stats, so yeah. In the Haunted Fair, Voice switched from the walls in a frightening voice. Ugh, can't escape your fate. You'll soon gain balls. But that, something weird will happen to you. Could be great, or terrible. I don't want something particularly terrible happening to you. Stay put to make sure you don't get next bonus first. Voice prediction. Look, you trying to try destiny yourself. That makes it take some bravery. Yes, that plus two bonus. After it, you end up with Mile. You're sharing a hammock. Come up close with her. <laughs> and you're both checking your phones. Hell yeah! What could be more emotionally uh, intimate than Riley's one right beside your number one son crash? <laughs> Suddenly, Mile's phone starts blowing up. Granted, Mile's phone is always blowing up, but right now, it's worse than usual. No need to be jealous, dear. It's just a work text. I keep telling the head office not to contact me when taking a staycation, but I suppose this treatment is urgent. La 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 la, another day, another 
magic. Oh! Oh my god! Um, it's, it's a little awkward, isn't it? Well, not awkward for you, because you don't know yet, and I shouldn't tell you. What? I can't resist a little gossip. This is enough. I don't usually disclose authority information. But I just gotta repeat for next week. To protect yourself. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, what? On the other hand, I, I don't know where to be padded or skin. Huh? Why is it gonna be yourself? That sounds so ter terrifying. Also a little bit hot. Yeah. Just smile if this means oh. you're gonna die next week. Short answer. Yep. You're totally gonna die. Long answer. Life, death, and fate are weird and messy, and it's hard to say 100% because of quantum margin. But if I'm getting geek, yeah, you're gonna die. Congrats! Huh? Holy shit, this is the most awkward news you've ever seen while landing in, landing in a hammock. You start to freak out. No, look, don't freak out. I'm an expert, I promise you. Not as scary as it seems. Just reminds of the profound, infinite beauty of life. And... Realistically, it's not like you're immortal or anything. Sorry to burst your bubble, but death was gonna find you eventually. TBHQ. TBHQ. Uh, TBQH. I'm actually doing you a huge favor by letting you know ahead of time. My gift to you. The opportunity to go out for a bang. A bang? Ooh, I, I. This <clears throat> is the first day of the rest of your life. Let's make this last week of your life the best week of your life. We'll spend every month together and we'll end with a huge fight. A celebration of Lilith. A whole week of mine? That sounds like heaven. And sign up to distract you from your intimate death. Friends on point. Hmm, lovely. God, you're going to get so many posthumous followers. I'm almost off. Oh, and we should stop considering the fire aspect. Right away. We need some big memorable main event at five. Something that'll all your true essence, stuff. And obviously, it should be a Snapchat friendly. Any ideas? Um, no time shine. Quick, what's back right to one and ten, I guess. Two commemorate your tiger lesson, and three press my arm. Next time we life through a foul town and meet them on the top of the town. Um, after this will you be hit me, right? Yes! Oh! That eleven creative is really paying off. What form and interpretive dance? Oh, look, that's wonderful. I've seen 5%. I'm sure you won't let me down, and didn't. Yay! The perfect choice for the pies may have been. After all, dancing is the second best way to celebrate being alive. The best is driving a jet ski, obviously. But I have one concern about the dance number emotional vulnerability. Dancing can be so revealing of our eternal psychology, you know? As they say, gift of life. Uh, I don't like that. Prefer rehearse the story of life dance for the pie. Go on, give me a raw, untold truth, and I'll make sure it's feet for everyone. Long dance for a while. Oh, will be a belly dance? Mm -hmm. I'll be out of distance. For everything into the dance, love for a while, you'll feel deaf, and you've got a hard soul. Oof, you're. you're. a nurse! My god, I'm shook! I can't believe you've been sickly found this whole time! The room was simply breathtaking! The rendition of the robot was a classic, but also a same testament of modern industrialization. And those strange, awkward hip variations they perfectly expect to believe that we're all perfect beings, right, owned by our mistakes and shared Life. experiences. It's so beautiful. Don't even get me started on right leaping. It's such a myth and apt metaphor for life. We're all just leap folks, jumping between lily pads, upon the foul tap old babies. But still, something was missing. I think it's the end of the story. Your death. You big face that s stares death in the face. Hmm, well, I have an idea. <clears throat> Can't believe I'm saying this, but love, you need me. You want to finish off death on the little tango death? Mm, uh, we e should do e a yes. collab. Come here, you silly mortal. Dance with me. <laughs> Your mom rehearsed the most true-worthy, sexy charge of Eric Death Tango mm -hmm. all the time. Uh, that house was just so stirring. I'd seen an heroic butterfly pick three of its cocoon. <laughs> and I'm sure the real thing would be even better. You've got me pying a little, Elf. <laughs> in the meantime, we should move on to our next activity in your final work of life. 
not be a wine tasting at the green most expensive vineyard, shall we? Oh, yes, I like that. It's quite quickly turning into the best week of your life. And it's all thanks to Miles' undeniable charm. That charm is so undeniable that you can possibly charm yourself. Oh. I charm. Alright, uh, I think that's a good place to end this episode on. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. See you all later.